Hey, what's going on guys? Dion here, and today we are doing our second video of our HBM Nuclear Tech Mod review. Very nice, let's get into this. So right behind me is what we're going to be reviewing today. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so look at all these missiles we're going to be reviewing today. We got High Explosive Missile and so many more. Whew. But the ones I'm really excited for is the Nuclear Missile, the Endothermic Missile, the exothermic missile, which is down here, the black hole missile, the scrabium missile, the micronuclear missile, and the doomsday missile, <coughs> and the EPM missile as well, and the thermonuclear missile, which sounds freaking awesome. Let's not forget this one, though. I like this one as well. <coughs> but anyway, let's hop right into it. So today, mm, today we end the world as we know it. Alrighty, so first thing we got to do. We got a freaking target designator ready. So you got a long range target designator. If you want to shoot like really far away, like if you want to attack a house like that's like, I don't know, like a couple billion blocks away. Okay, I know that's a slight exaggeration, but if you want to like shoot a house that's like pretty far away, then you'd probably use something like that. But if you're going to be shooting something uh, that's close by, like uh, that freaking uh, fusionary watch reactor over there, <coughs> then, uh, I would aim for that. Anyway, so first thing we're gonna do is hit them. Hit it. Alright, that's gonna happen. Alright, there we go. We're gonna see where it goes. We're gonna see what kind of damage it does. So that was a pretty small missile, so it really didn't do that much damage. I mean, it would it'd be absolute shit against that base over there. <clears throat> I'm just saying, alright. So, I mean it was okay. But it's just not interesting enough. All right, now we have a spare missile. Really, nothing too exciting about this. At least that one worked. All right, we're gonna see where. Oh ho! Pull a little sneaky on me, it did. And well, I have to say, even though it's a spare missile, give it a couple seconds. I think that did quite a lot of damage. Dang! Like, look at the size of this goddamn hole. Like, look at this. This is amazing. That's a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. Almost tore, tore it into uh, this. Whew, damn. That was close. So, that's our two first two missiles. The... Okay, I forgot which one it was. I think it, it was the small one. It was the incendiary missile, which was the first one, which was over there. And our second one was the spare missile. For their third one, we got our strong HE missile. Where is it going? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really that exciting, but it is a pretty decently sized hole for a missile. <laughs> but it was not exciting as the spare missile. <clears throat> I can't wait for the last two, though. I like the designs on these. They look really, like, realistic, you know. I love the design of the missile pad, too. Now, I love it way more than I like the other one. Like, the other one is kind of ugly, in my opinion. It's like, you can't see where the freaking put the redstone for it. Like, <sighs> damn. Okay, now we're going to do the high explosive missile, which kind of looks like a V2 missile from, uh, like, one that Germany invented. See, not really that much damage, but it's not bad for a V2 rocket, <clears throat> which I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Very exciting, if you ask me. I'm hyped about this. Alrighty. What we got here? We got a strong incendiary missile. Alrighty, let's click our little lever here, and let's see where it goes. We're going to be chasing down every one of these. Not really that much damage, but sure a lot of fire though. Yeah, it's probably as, probably as good as the strong AG missile. Yeah, I think it was probably as strong as the strong AG missile. Except it's got fire, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> pretty lit.
Very cool if we had endothermic missiles in real life, though. <laughs> Alright, so now we got the Inferno Missile GRN Mark II. That's some really military talk right there, Mark II. Boom! Damn. Even though I actually put it in the water, it still made a pretty god dang it hole. Big hole. Shit, yo. That's, oh my god, it's, look at this. It set everything on fire in here. I say that was pretty good. Even It made a freaking big asshole even underwater. <clears throat> Very nice. I don't know if any of the missiles in this mod are like, like, be able to, can like go through water like it's like better than they could go through land or anything alrighty cluster missile this one is uh, probably gonna be really small frick pull a little sneaky on me did did oh that's where it went so yeah throws out these little balls and it's like eee. it's not really that much damage it's kind of like roughly hmm okay let me get a creeper Probably the rough, roughly the size of a creeper explosion. Not this creeper. This creeper. Ooh, that's probably roughly the size of a nuclear grenade, which we'll show you in the third. So yeah, it's it's probably maybe a little bigger than the creeper explosion. Probably as big as a charge creeper, actually, but it's still not really that big. <clears throat> And the cluster missiles are okay for like handling crowds and stuff, but Heh. We really need a server with this on it though. Like that'd be awesome. Strong cluster missile. Ooh, I don't know about this one, guys. Oh man. I really felt that lag spike. Ah, once again, clusters. You should please don't hit oh frick it's adding right for the display. Oops. Stop hitting everything. happen alrighty <clears throat> that was close actually it almost took our freaking display like damn <clears throat> all right now we're on the third row oh bomblet I'm gonna save you for last I have I actually want to I mean I want to try it but I also don't want to fuck anything up Yeah, we're going to save that one for last. Alright, Bunker Buster. Alright, let's see where this one goes. I should have aimed that towards the bunker now that I think about it. Ooh. Well, since it's really aimed for uh, bunkers that are in the ground, I say it did pretty good. Because <coughs> most bunkers would be underground. Actually, all bunkers would be underground because that just makes sense. I like that one over there. That one, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna save the bomblet raid for last because I feel like it's gonna cause a lot of damage. All right, now we have our enhanced bunker buster. <laughs> now, that, dang, that sounds that sounds awesome. Oof. Whoa, whoa, look at that. You got the regular bu bunker buster right here. Look how small that is compared to this little fucker. That's like literally three times the size of that. Damn. That's fucking absurd, yo. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh dear, I'm just ready for total atomic annihilation with the last two. Alright, concrete crack. Oh dear, if the first two did anything bad, this... This is, this is gonna be something even more extraordinary. Oh, we just smack dab, hit that village right in the fucking center. It's updating. I don't know about this guy. Oh, my. Give, me a, give it a second. 
Wow. Oh my goodness. Look how deep this fucking hole is. Damn. You know where your friend's base is at? You put a bunker, they got a bunker? You just use a concrete cracker on that damn bitch. Finished. So that was a concrete cracker. <clears throat> this was the bunker buster. It's not as big, but it's still pretty big. And then we got the bunker buster, the regular size one. So that like that last one was basically super size then. Damn. Pretty intense, yo. Alrighty. It's really I got my frame rate jittery, I tell you that. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Dear. Endothermic missile. Ooh, I've been wanting to get this one for a while. You can just feel a compute like I don't know about you guys, but I can really like feel the computer lagging. And basically what that does is make everything nice and toasty. I mean, nice and frozen. Look how frozen everything is. It even froze the freaking villager house. Y'all seeing this? Y'all seeing that? It froze the villager house. Damn. Whatever these were. Oh, these are mobs. They fuck. It froze the mobs in ice, yo. Like, look at that. If I was in game mode zero right now, I'd like. Oh, it also. Ooh, yep. I got slowest in th three guys. Like this. Throws and grass, yo. Ooh. I actually really like the color of it, though. It looks really nice. It gives you that, like, extremely frozen kind of impression. Like, that permafrost kind of impression. Like, you know? Like, it got a shit ton of permafrost in there. <clears throat> Dude, this is really glitchy today. Damn. Now the exothermic missile, which is a completely opposite reaction. I really wish we had these kind of missiles in real life, though. Hills, I put it. Oh, I think it just exploded. Yep, it just exploded here. All right. I was like, "What's taking so long with it?" Ah, look at that! It's freaking spawning in lava. Yo. This is like the complete opposite of the exothermic missile. I mean, endothermic missile. And that makes sense because uh, <clears throat> it's a completely opposite reaction. But look at that. You got the extremely hot freaking shit going on here. And then you got extremely cold shit over here. Hmm. Very interesting. I actually, that's already cool. Frame rates are really stuttering today. Alrighty. Now we got the Doomsday Missile. This looks something like straight, like something straight out of a movie. <laughs> you know. Ah, oh, dear. Probably because it is. It's probably a movie I remember watching too. Oh. Oh no, shit, shit, no, oh shit. Ooh, shit, that was bigger than I was expecting. Stop exploding, please. <laughs> oh my god, it keeps right there. Jesus, fuck. 
Okay, can you stop that? Oh my god, it's right there, fuck. Are we done? Are we done? That was just unfucking called for. Oh god, you know how long it's gonna take for everything to update now? Ooh, micronuclear missile. That's next right after the tainted missile. Ah, man, that really took a beating to my FPS, I tell you. I don't have that good of a computer. Ah, there it is, the tainted missile. Give it a second. Ah, that's how it starts, guys. That's how it starts. Just a couple little freaking things. Just wait. Once I'm done with this live review, just wait. We'll go back over there. I mean, as long, I mean, we may even see it here. That's how quickly, that's how fast and like well it spreads. <clears throat> I really, th I really think he deserves like way more like appreciation for making such a good mod. You know, <laughs> like I just absolutely love this mod. He deserves more than we get. We have for, uh, for him. Fuck. No idea where that one went. Oh my god! Everything's just so laggy. Ugh. Oh, no, our computer is getting an ass whooping from this. Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sakes, really? Okay, we lost sight of the missile. I think we found it where it landed. So it just stopped lagging for 20 seconds. Oh my god, it's painful. Oh dear. Well, I can tell you now, the missile landed near. Oh my goodness, I'm recording. Frickin' three FPS. I'm just gonna. Alright, so I bet you all noticed a little something weird over here. This is my Gregor counter. And well, we have quite a lot of contamination, so we're gonna use our Radex to become immune to it and our right away to get rid of all that. Regular <clears throat> right away, strong right away, and elite right away. Oh, nice. So, this is where the missile landed. It really didn't do too much damage, but it did carve out a pretty nice area of the mountain. Not to mention fully irradiating quite a lot of this area. Wow, that's weird. Huh. That's so that's really weird. <laughs> anyway. Look at all this dead grass. This is from nuclear fallout. If you stand on it, then you get sick and die. <laughs> We don't want that. All right, moving on. I kind of got distracted. <clears throat> oh no, I fell out of the world. Alrighty, so for our next one, we have our black hole missile. I can tell you already, it's gonna crash the game. It always does for me. It's like, eee, fuck you. Here we 
R. Look at that. <laughs> What's it destroying? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was literally destroying air. If you get too close to it, you get sucked into it. Which I will demonstrate with this creeper because creepers are nasty. And you'll get spaghettified. Nobody wants to be spaghettified. Look at that. He just whoa! Look at look how quickly he's getting sucked in there. You, <laughs> you. Ah, oh, shit. That's why you got. Ah, I was like, what? Look at look at him just getting sucked in there. Look at him, <laughs> and they just instantly die. That's sad. If you want to get rid of that, you gotta get some antimatter cluster thingy, which I have no idea where that is. Ah, here we go. Hey, I actually said it was the right thing. And what you want to do is just drop it in there. Boom, there you go. Destroys it instantly, and then you get some crushed obsidian. Really doesn't do anything for you, but it's pretty cool anyway. Alrighty, so... <clears throat> I have no idea what the next one's gonna be because I haven't looked, so. <laughs> Probably show you most of the random generated uh, structures in the fourth episode of this. I have no idea if that's gonna be all the randomly generated structures or not, anyway, though, because there's so many randomly generated structures in this mod. I only found a couple. I found the uh, factory, the uh, satellite. Uh, the bunker, the nuclear power plant. I mean, they're all in different areas. But the most common one is probably the radio tower or that re really weird antenna thingy. All right, Scrabby, you missed all. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck's going on over here? Yeah, that happens sometimes, but here is the hole from the uh, Scrabium missile. It's basically like dropping a tube of the Scrabium stuff. So if you drop a tool, uh, tube of this... Well, that's new. I can't fucking see anything. Alright, we're gonna need a hazmat suit. Alright. I need some milk. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, hold up. So yeah, now we got on our hazmat suit just so we can even carry this. Ah, oh, man, they really updated that. Hmm. You basically, you drop it. Ah, oh, that's the wrong one. It's the anti-scrabium. My bad. <laughs> My dumb ass is like, oh shit, why is it not working? That's the wrong one. Boom, you drop it. Basically the same thing. It's actually, it's even the same size, actually. Ha! <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> hmm, Alright, so we're going to head back this way. Look at this. I completely solidified it to freaking lava. Like, look at all this. Look at all this lava. <sighs> now, one thing that would be really cool for this mod would be the ability to, like, customly generate worlds. Like, with HVM blocks in it. Like, wow. Just imagine if you could, like, <clears throat> have a world. And just like I said, look at the freaking... Look how far the freaking taint had spreaded. Like, look at this. <sighs> so that, that was that taint missile we fired earlier? This is it now. Like, it would be really cool if we had, like, there was a world, like, like, command or something. Like, a world generating thing or something. That could, like, set, like, create this, and you'd have to, like, constantly, like, try to run away from it. I think that would be pretty cool. The last missile. Second to last missile. I mean, yeah, yeah. Got that one yet, and got these two in the back. Alright, so this one's heading right towards probably all the machinery over there. We're going to see what it does. Alright. Oh. Oh. No, it 
like fucked everything up. What the fuck landed here? What's this? I did not put this here. Oh yeah, that's probably the rogue's dungeon mod thingy. Y'all see what happened? There we go. It basically fucked everything up. See? This is supposed to be a superconducting magnet. But now it just turned into scrap. I mean, you, pretty, you can fix this pretty quickly anyway. I mean. <clears throat> I think it pretty much only fixed the outside. Eh, not to mention. Oh, okay, never mind. There goes that theory. This might be a little harder. To see, you can't, you can't use it. See? It's not valid anymore because, like, it's all fucked up. Yeah, we're gonna replace that. I, I don't even know if we can repair that. Oh. I, I don't know if it's because of this happened or what. So yeah, that's basically the EPM. Not really that exciting if you ask. Ah, oh, freaking hell. I just, what did I fire here that blew this up anyway? Oh, that's what happened. All right. Well, that's why we have our uh, backup of our world anyway. So let's go on with the freaking showcase. <sighs> Thank God I got a backup though. That like literally wiped that part out. Whew. All right, now we're gonna launch this one. I don't know where it is going. There it is. Oh shoot! Do 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 do. This is kind of like that. Alrighty, guys. I mean, Abominant Rain wasn't too, like, interesting in my opinion, but uh, now we've come to the last two missiles. Yo! <laughs> is that what I think that is? My goodness. <laughs> oh, dear lord. I have no idea what kind of is that like the uh <clears throat> is that the uh North Korean flag? Hold on, I gotta find I got I gotta find out. Give me a second. The bad that the mad lad actually did it. Jesus, that's actually the North Korean flag. <sighs> well at least I at least I said it was the right thing. At least I said it was the right thing. Like, jeez. <laughs> I would feel really embarrassed if it's like a a different kind of flag or something. It's like, oh shit. All right, so which one are we firing first? Probably this one. Hmm. All right, so we got our nuclear missile. Where are we going? Where are we going? Mm -hmm. It's the end of the world. Boom. Oh, I can feel the lag right now. Oh, God. It froze. Oh, shit. Hey, I, I like it. I like it. <clears throat> He said he made some changes to the launch, like the miss Oh, damn. Damn, look how deep this is, yo. This is almost rock bottom. Look how much rad is we're getting here. And freak, oh my goodness, we are almost freaking dead. Nope, I'm getting out of here. Look how much radiation is go. where all this, oh my goodness. This is fucking crazy. Wow. That's hot. <laughs> I can't believe you actually put a North Korean missile, like, freaking flag on this. That's funny. Last one, guys. Thermonuclear missile. Where is it going? It's probably going to the same place as the other one did. Oh, 
How much? How much rad we get? Oh, my, oh shoot! Damn, that's a lot of freaking radiation. <laughs> look, look! I'm literally just spamming this, and it's shooting right back up. Like, this is unsurvivable. Give it a second. I don't know if it's gonna start like tearing apart the land or what. There we go. Whew. Let's go to our half complete bunker. Well, it crashed. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, uh, okay, let me see if I can get back on. Give me a second. <coughs> I crashed this. Oh, I grabbed it. Oh my god. Nope. Oh, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.